Okay guys, we're back in the booth. I've got the body tub with the windshield on it right now and a blanket. And as you can see, I have the top hanging from the chain falls. And I'm getting ready to try and get that onto the Jeep. I got all the bolts in the top. And, but there, nothing's tight yet. We'll tighten everything later. Um, on the original top, I made this one a little bit different, but on the original top they just had sheet metal screws and they zipped them through all these areas here and then they um, sheet metal screwed it just with some self drillers through there. Uh, I didn't like that so I got the stainless steel bolts and lock nuts in there and stuff. Um, it's getting a little a little tight in here but uh, the body's on a cart. We'll slide it over once the roof is in place and uh, we'll try and get that on there. Okay guys, we've got the top sitting up there. I've got to get some bolts in it and stuff. But I uh, have my three best helpers. You know that's my best helper, Maria. There's my second best helper up there. And down this end, we've got my third best helper. So we got the top on without too much trouble. We're gonna bolt it up and uh, we're gonna start the seam sealing. I thought I might be painting today because it's a beautiful day, but uh, I'm behind again. Um, but all these areas are going to need to be seam sealed, so we'll get it bolted and make sure it's where we want everything, and then uh, lay the seam sealer in there and let that sit until tomorrow or another day. But the top is on finally. Hey guys, we just tightened up the hard top. Um, there's about 38 bolts that hold this thing on, and they're all stainless steel with stainless steel lock nuts, like I'm doing everything on this hard top. So, there's a lot of them to tighten. I'm just using a gear wrench because they get in all the tight spots where you can't get a ratchet in without screwing up the paint. Uh, so we're just going to tighten all these up and then I've got a lot of seam sealing to do. I don't know if we can get that in the camera but you can see um, daylight through a lot of these areas. 
and if rain is coming down or snow is getting thrown or something I don't want any type of moisture coming on the inside we're gonna put finished panels on all these surfaces here and I want to make sure everything is seam sealed inside and out so uh, just a few more bolts to tighten up Three more bolts to tighten up and then we're going to start on the seam sealer. I'll show you the uh, 3M seam sealer that I use again. Uh, a lot of, I use it a lot. A lot of guys ask me what it is. Um, I'm going to show it to you after we get these tightened up and we start with our seam sealer. Okay guys, this is what we're going to use for seam sealer. I've shown this in the past. Uh, it's the stuff I like the best. This is made by 3M. Um, 08505 is the part number. Uh, it's fast and firm, they call it. Uh, there's a lot of urethane sealers out there that are very good. Uh, there's a whole lot of seam sealers out there that are very good. This one uh, lays down, I think, the best out of all of them. I've tried just about every one. This is the one I always come back to. I like this one the best. Holds up the best. You can paint over it in half an hour. Uh, it's very good stuff. So I'm going to start laying some beads in there and uh, I'll show you what I can. Okay guys, I normally like to do my seam sealing uh, after the primer, but just the way this whole Jeep's going together, it's uh, there's a lot of steps and a lot of steps I can't do until stuff is um, painted. So I'm laying this in right now. It lays in real nice. You can tool it with your finger or not. Um, I give it a wipe like that. And it's just a, you just lay it right in there, let it harden. And like I say, within a half an hour, you're painting. Uh, the urethane stuff and, um, and, and some of the other high tech kind of seam sealers, they don't lay in as nice as this stuff. Uh, so if you want a good looking bead, um, the 3M stuff's the way to go. Okay guys, there she is with the top on. Uh, I've got a few more things to do. I've got to get the latches on here to get the windshield to pull down tight to get the doors to fit right. And I forgot the screws that go along through the windshield. Um, completely slipped my mind to get some stainless steel inch and three quarter screws. So I got to get those. And we're seam sealed. But like I say, I've got to get that, um, that windshield sucked down a little tighter. I had the clamps on when I fit the top and doors and stuff. Uh, I've got to get the clamps on there, pull the windshield into place. Uh, it's, got to, it's got to lean back a little bit. I've got a, a bigger gap up here at the door, and I know it's all in the windshield. So um, this is what I wanted to get done today, and it's done and it was fairly easy to do with Maria and the two chain falls so that's where we're at on the snowblower Jeep uh, there's still a lot of stuff to do today it's Sunday and uh, we got new chickens in and we've got a bunch of stuff to do farm chores as always so just a short one today we're gonna end it here and uh, I'll pick up with you guys sometime next week and uh, we'll get that windshield mask and hopefully we'll catch a good day, uh, 70 degrees or so, uh, where we can squirt that base and uh, start on the clear. So, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one.